Hello all, this is Raj Informatica. Welcome to my channel, Raj Informatica Real-Time Training. Please subscribe my channel. Please subscribe my channel and also please like my videos. If you want to see Informatica Power Center and ISS videos, there are many videos available. You can check my YouTube channel and you can watch the videos. Today I am going to discuss how to install Oracle 11G Express Edition in your laptop and also how to install Informatica IACS, how to install Informatica IACS Secure Agent in your laptop. This is what I am going to discuss today. So please watch carefully and install in your laptop. So let's see first how to install Oracle 11G and SQL developer in your laptops. I will give the link in the description. So please go to the link. Please go to the link. And download Oracle 11G and SQL developer both. So what I do first, I just copied this link. I went to any Google Chrome. So I pasted it. I pasted it. So this, this link I will give it. You can download it. First download both the files. Download one by one. Oracle XC here. You click on download. Download anyway. So it will download. It will take a very, based on your network speed, it will download. So I downloaded the first folder. Next, download SQL developer. Click on this link. Download SQL developer. So it will also download within a seconds. Once you download these two softwares, what you have to do? Go to my computer or this PC. Go to my computer or this PC or C drive, D drive, wherever downloads. You have to go to, you have to go to downloads. What you have to do? You have to go to downloads. Go to downloads. Go to downloads. There will be two softwares downloaded, two zip files downloaded. One is Oracle XC Win64. Another one is SQL Developer. This one. So to extract this, please download one more file called 7-zip. You can extract like this only. But for better, you download WinZip or we have already WinZip, but please download 7-zip software. So Google, always better to download is 7-zip. So click on 7-zip download, download. Then click on the first one, download. So it will download. Go to your downloads. Go to your downloads and install 7-zip. First, click on yes. Install 7-zip first. It will install in one second. Close it. Now extract these two. First, you need to extract SQL developer. Next, you need to extract Oracle XC. So both you extract first. So I'm extracting first Oracle XC. Right click. Show more options. 7-zip. Extract to Oracle XC 11 to Win64. So when you extract, a folder will create. So here you will be seeing the disk one setup and all, you will be seeing it. So the next thing you need to do is go to SQL developer, right click on it, extract, uh, show more options, 7-zip, extract SQL developer. Okay. So just extract like this. So it will extract SQL developer into a folder, into a folder. So it is extracted. So we have Oracle 11G and SQL developer. Now double click on Oracle 11G, disk one. This setup, first you need to install Oracle 11G, Oracle XC 11.112 Win64. So once you extracted these two zip files by using WinZip, two folders will download. So two folders will create. 
First open Oracle XE disk one. Right click, run as administrator. Right click on the setup, run as administrator. Click on S. Once you click on S, it will show, it will show preparing install. It will show preparing to install. So once it is preparing to install, it will show Oracle Database 11G Express Edition install wizard. Click on next. I accept next. So here you have to see your, you have to see your, the Windows C drive or D drive. In my D drive, there are almost 384 GB free space or you can install D drive also. Based on the free space you install, click on next. See, you please remember this password. Enter the confirm password for the database. This password will be used for both sys and system database. I am giving a password called admin. I am giving a password called admin. Please remember you can give any password, but if you give any password, you should remember that I am remembering admin. Okay. Click on next install. Once you click on next install, it will install Oracle 11G database express edition into your laptop. So we'll wait till it install. It will, it will not take much time. It will be very quick. So please wait based on your network speed, based on your RAM speed, based on your laptop RAM speed. It will install very soon. So please wait with patience until it install. Okay, so it is installing and it is configuring and starting services for Oracle Database 11G Express Edition. So let's wait for it until it installed. And it is now it is creating and starting services. So it is done. It is done. Once it is done, so it will go to the next page. It is configuring the database. Once it is configuring the database, what it will do? Just see on the screen. Don't open any other window. Just look into this and we'll finish it as soon as possible. Okay. Just we'll wait for to finish this. Meanwhile, before it finished, so this is Raj. I am from Bangalore actually. I am having total 12 years of experience into Informatica. I am giving the online training on Informatica Power Center, Informatica Cloud, that is IACS. So, if you want to join my training, you can call to this number. So, 8105, you can WhatsApp us or call to this number, 8105-296858. So I'll be majorly giving Informatica Power Center training, Informatica Power Center training, and I'll be giving Informatica Cloud, Informatica Cloud, that is IACS, Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services training. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Still, it is taking some time. So it'll take some time. Let's wait for to complete this. Let's wait to complete this because it will take some time. So meanwhile, as I said, yeah, it is completed. Maybe see, it is completed. Install shared wizard completed. Click on finish. Once you click on finish, if you search with Oracle or if you go to start all apps, you will be creating, there will be a folder created Oracle 11G Express Edition. So don't click on anything. Now go to your download folders again. Go to your download folder again. We have a SQL developer here. We have a SQL developer. So open this SQL developer. Okay. And here there is one, there is an icon called SQL developer. Right click on it. Run as administrator. Click on yes. Once you click on yes, a Oracle SQL developer window will open. Okay. So would you like to import preferences from a SQL developer installation? Click on yes or no, whatever you can click on no. So it is not showing yes. 
you can click on no okay now the oracle sql developer window is open this is the window so instead of going again and again to here right click on it right click on it show more options send send to desktop so this is so this is our so there will be a uh, icon will be created so this is a sql server developer icon sql server developer icon so you can double click on this so instead of going to downloads you can double click on it so oracle sql developer window will open once oracle sql developer window is open to start with you need to create two schemas to start with you need to create two schemas one is source schema one is target schema okay or you can create one schema also now not a problem now how to create a schema in oracle to create a schema to create a schema what we need to do go to oracle connections okay click on new connection click on new connection here you give the name as this what do you have to do click on plus symbol give the name as sys username also sys password is the password which we have given this is the password that is admin so admin save password test okay see it is giving connection as sys so in this click as in the default so what you have to do click on plus name as sys sys you have to give as name as sys and the username as sys password as admin role is sys dba the role should be sys dba now test success connect once you connect a window will open a workspace window will open here you need to create a schema how to create a schema in oracle create you you should write a command you should write a command okay create i am creating i am creating a command create user just write any schema name i am giving ot src dev identified by identified by password okay so the these uh, fonts are very small i can i can make this fonts as big bigger size please wait let me make this font size is bigger so somewhere here it, it would be font size i'll make bigger preferences come to the preferences okay so code editor under code editor fonts so you can make this bigger size i am giving 16 so your font size will be bigger click on okay now create a schema how to create a schema like this create user if you want more bigger go to tools preferences code editor fonts here i will make it as 20 click on okay now it will be bigger so yeah create user schema name any name you can give it i am giving a name called ot src dev identified by password that is admin so my schema name is i am creating a schema in oracle create a schema in oracle how how to create a schema in oracle what is your schema name you should decide that is ot src dev dotin and the password is you should decide the password also admin so what you have to do now ot src dev so take this schema name put it here and password is admin now you write the command grant all privileges to grant all privileges to grant all privileges to write the spelling correctly privileges yeah privileges to the schema name otsrc dev dev and grant dba to otsrc dev so execute them at a time 
now my schema is created now what to do now you have to now what you have to do you have to configure the schema how to configure the schema click on this plus symbol again name otsrc dev username password whatever you given here the same password you should give save password test connect so otsrc dev is created you can create a sample table create table students i am creating a table so i created a schema under the schema i am creating a table student id number student name varka 220 marks number so this is how i am creating a students table select it execute it so i have a students table if you want to see the students table at the left side right click disconnect and connect you created a students table so now oracle installation is completed so i have created what and all i created first from this google drive from this google drive i downloaded both the zip files i downloaded both the zip files once i downloaded both the zip files i downloaded seven zip software once i downloaded seven zip software and i by using seven zip i extracted oracle xc oracle sql developer i installed oracle xc first then sql developer then i configured sys schema i created otsrc dev schema a schema any name you can give and i connected and i created a table called students you can see the table at the left side so this is about how to install oracle 11g how to see how to install oracle sql developer and how to create a table oracle 11g so please hope you liked my video please subscribe my channel raj informatica and please like my videos and watch my videos thank you all hello